Hey guys, this is going to be a quick and dirty test of Xbox emulation because uh, I should say original Xbox emulation uh, because today I woke to the um, GTA 6 trailer and my god, I think I've watched that thing like six or seven times now. Um, absolutely blown away. Now, the fact that it's set in uh, Vice City is incredible because Vice City was my favorite GTA. Um, I've got an interesting history of GTA. Uh, I really liked the original when it came out, but it, you know, it's kind of asked to go back and play now. I uh, apologize if I sound rough. I'm still pretty sick. I've had flu for like six days. <coughs> But hey -o, there we go, we survived. Um, uh, GTA 2, I never really played. GTA 3, I really, really enjoyed. But man, it's, um, it's kind of basic to go back to. Uh, I got the uh, original, uh, no, the definitive edition way back uh, when that first dropped. And wow. What a load of hot, steaming shit that was, eh? Um, it's better now. I have gone back and played it um, only a few months ago. It is better now. Um, I don't hate the art style. But what I do hate is the fact that they've removed loads of the music, uh, you know. The visuals aside and the quality of life updates were good. But you can't call it the definitive edition because so much of the vibe of GTA is the music. So anyway, I thought uh, next year, I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to record my favorite uh, GTA. Right. Uh, I'm going to um, do Vice City because I love Vice City. I have so much nostalgia. It's such a good game and unlike GTA 3 it holds up reasonably well and actually the definitive version is not bad because um, the art style lends itself to the vibe of the game quite well actually now um, I did start playing a little bit of it this morning so I was like okay am I going to do this version I might do the definitive version I started playing it but Within half an hour of me playing, I already had blue balls over the music. It's just, it doesn't have the same vibe. So I'm like, you know what? Let's spark up my original Xbox. Because um, I've got an original Xbox. I paid like 250 or pounds. I think it might have been more than that last year to get a nice modded um original xbox just for the collection uh, i can just load it full of the game roms i can rip my discs all that good stuff now unfortunately i turn it on this morning and apparently it, it's dead now not sure why it's getting loads of graphical artifacts and all that kind of stuff and this brings me on to um a, a, an annoying fact of video game collecting um i have and always have for many years collected old consoles and video games but I'm starting to reach a turning point now where it's just not worth it because I have although I do have um, another original Xbox which is stock that probably works I'm just so annoyed that, that like this really nice one this one had like a brand new drive put in all the capacitors on the board were replaced it's got a brand new two terabyte hard drive in it you know even had the hdmi mod i spent all that money on it and i'm just sitting here now and I'm like that was not worth it at all um and i don't really want to bust out like an old xbox and fart around with video conversions and like ah oh, just yeah really frustrated with that whole situation but it has lit a fire up my ass 
uh, and I finally um, thought about trying some Xbox original Xbox emulation uh, unfortunately original Xbox emulation is in its infancy um, so this has taken me a little while this morning to set up I tried this like uh, before I bought this this Xbox which is why I bought the Xbox in the first place because the uh, OG Xbox emulation is just not there yet and it's not really there yet now either um, but I did decide to just try Vice City using the backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360 but unfortunately like a lot of OG Xbox games running on the Xbox 360 it runs like hot shit um not even that good to be honest there's loads of hitching frame issues um it stutters it, it, the backwards compatibility on the xbox 360 is a mixed bag some games run really well some don't <laughs> and unfortunately the gta series is uh one of them now why do i really want to do the original xbox version mainly because out of the original i mean yes okay you can argue the pc version modded pc version all that kind of stuff but i don't really will do that I, I like my xbox man so um the xbox versions were heavily upgraded over the ps2 they had better character models they had more dense um populations they had much better car models as well with fully um modeled internal engine bays and stuff like that they really were, of the time, the definitive version. Um, so I really want to go back and play them. So, uh, yeah, let, let's try and see if we can get some OG Xbox emulation going. And I'll tell you one thing that I, I am quite looking forward to with this is using my Elite controller. Now, apparently, all I've got to do is go to load disk uh load disc the only game that i've actually ripped open and then you've got to reset i believe and we're gonna see what happens and this is what happens it says please insert an xbox disc and this is as far as i've got so far so load disc and it does that and it just says please insert an xbox disc Right, let me fiddle with some things and see if we can actually get this working. Right, fiddle with some settings. Let's try that again, shall we? So all of this stuff should be right, um, I think. I mean, it should be because the emulator is loading to this state. Um, so let's try loading a disk. The only thing I can think of is maybe this isn't right so we want to load that and I believe we reset nope still doing it all right so it would appear that my problems are down to a bad ROM of the game that I actually wanted to play. Uh, because for the life of me, I cannot get my personal rip of my game um, Vice City to work. However, this is a downloaded version of um, Jet uh, Jet Street Radio. Jet Street Radio? Jet Set Radio. Uh, this is like one of the best games on the original xbox this game blew my freaking mind um i love this game with such a burning passion that i can't even explain um i haven't played it for a few years but to actually have an emulator that will run this is incredible this uh obviously is kind of like i wouldn't say it's a sequel to the dreamcast game it's more like a reboot um 
and it's absolutely fantastic and has one of the best soundtracks in video game history as well. Now, let's just have a quick play around with this. Yo! And also, what's fucking banging about this is I can use my Elite Series 2 controller and not have to worry about um, using those old Xbox controllers. So maybe the fact that my Xbox has died is kind of a blessing in disguise. Unfortunately, we are going to get artifacting um, because this emulator is absolutely in its infancy. But it still looks better than running it from a native system. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to go find gum. I mean, this is running absolutely great. Apparently, like, 70-odd percent of the Xbox library is playable. Uh, I guess this emulator is still in active development. I remember having a demo of this on my Xbox, actually, when I was a kid. And I remember just spending ages in this area. I can already hear the audio is clipping. There is a experimental toggle to turn on that apparently improves audio emulation which maybe we shall try but yeah from what I remember gums up here somewhere in the center where is she there she is so you're the cat who wants to join us huh I don't know where you're from but the streets are tough Real tough, but let's see what you're made of. We'll start you off nice and slow. Let's see how much air you can grab. Press the A button to jump. Yeah. I remember this so vividly. Anyway, guys, uh, this is only supposed to be like a really quick, dirty video of me explaining my Xbox woes and just why emulation is so important and why it needs to be protected. Because you know this is the only way we're going to preserve these games none of the big corpos are going to do it i mean xbox has made some kind of small nods in the right direction but nintendo's not interested you know throwing you a handful of games on a subscription service isn't really game preservation is it and if all these companies are not interested in selling you um, a version of the games that you can play, I don't see the issue in pirating these games. I don't. There isn't any other way of buying them unless you want to roll the dice on an old piece of shit Xbox off eBay and a disgustingly overpriced game. Uh, and that goes for everything. Like I've got three PlayStation 2s on my shelf that I'm looking at now. The Slim doesn't read discs. My Silver one uh, stopped reading discs as well, but I replaced the laser. And yeah, I, it's these are old machines. They're just not worth spending the money on, you know? It's just... That and the fact that memory cards are getting quite expensive for the PlayStation 2 as well, and I've already had two of those die. Yeah, emulation is where it's at. Um... And that's just the reality of it at the end of the day. And here's the thing. Even if they do continuously keep re-releasing their collections um, and delisting them, which has happened a few times now, is that how we're going to do it? Are we just going to keep buying these games every time they remake them for every old school game that we want to play? Continuously rebuying them? Nah, something's got to change, to be honest. And the only only thing that's going to move the needle is emulation. Needs to be supported, needs to be protected, and it is the only way we're going to preserve those old games. Anyway, this has been Titan. This has been my TED Talk. I'll see you next time.